Hi, hello, and welcome to another fall-inspired episode of The Crafting Coach. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Megan Rosendahl, I am The Crafting Coach, and we're going to kick off the Halloween season this week with a series of pumpkin decorating ideas. We're going to start things off this week by painting a minion pumpkin. Painting pumpkins is a nice way to show off your creative side, plus you don't have to deal with the mess of gutting and carving the pumpkin. There are literally billions of ways to paint a pumpkin, but I just wanted to show you how I create this cute little guy. What kid doesn't love a minion? So here is what you're going to need for this week's project. A pumpkin, obviously. Try to find one that's taller and more oval shaped. Six colors of paint, yellow, blue, black, and white. I'm also going to use brown for his eye, but feel free to make that any color you want, and pink for his mouth. Paint brushes, a canning ring, and thick cardstock. You can even use something like a poster board or the back of a notebook. Just make sure it's thick enough so the paint won't seep through. You'll also need a glue gun and glue sticks to attach the canning ring to the pumpkin, scissors, a pencil or marker, and a finishing spray. This is completely optional, but I like to use it to keep the outdoor elements at bay. Painting pumpkins is pretty straightforward. All it takes is a little bit of time and some concentration. I basically want to show you how simple painting can be, and you don't have to be artsy to make a really cute design. Begin by covering your entire workspace with newspaper. This will just help with easy cleanup. Then paint your entire pumpkin yellow. Make sure to cover the entire pumpkin and even paint the stem yellow. We'll add more to the stem later after it's dried. This first layer might need a couple of coats. While we're waiting for the yellow to dry, we'll go ahead and start working on our minion's eye. Grab your canning ring and trace a circle out of your cardstock or poster board. Paint your piece completely white if it's not white already. Grab the color you'd like for his eye and paint a small circle anywhere on the card, wherever you'd like his eye to be looking. Paint a black dot in the middle and then add some white dots to make it look like the eye is twinkling a bit. When it's dry, take your glue gun and place a small amount along the canning ring, then place your eyeball inside. Press firmly so the two adhere. We'll glue this on at the end. Once the yellow is dry, we can add our other colors. First, make a black strip anywhere on the top third of your pumpkin. This is the goggle strap. Make this as thick or as thin as you want, but be sure to go all the way around the pumpkin for a completed look. Feel free to mark this with a pencil before you begin to ensure as straight a line as possible. We'll also use the black paint to make some hair. Start at the base of the stem and make lines moving up following the curve of the stem. Be sure to go all the way around. Next we'll move on to the blue overalls. Paint a squarish chunk at the bottom of your pumpkin, beginning around the middle and ending all the way at the bottom. At the top of your square, paint lines that extend out and around the pumpkin. These are his overall straps. Lastly, paint the bottom of the pumpkin all around the bottom to complete the rest of his overalls. Next, we'll move on to the mouth. Paint a half oval pink, making it as big or as small as you'd like. Take your black paintbrush and flatten it out, then make a thin black border around the pink. When the pink is dry, take your white and add some teeth. These don't have to be individual teeth, but I am going to add a gap in between the front two. When the overalls are dry, we can go back with the black paint and paint a logo. I just googled an image. It's kind of like a square G. I'm also going to add some small black buttons. The last assembly step is to adhere the canning ring to the pumpkin. Use a line of hot glue around the ring, then press firmly to the pumpkin. Add a line of glue around the ring once it's in place for extra security. This last step is optional, and that is to finish the entire pumpkin with a clear lacquer or finishing spray. I do recommend this, as the paint will last longer and won't chip. It'll just hold up better to outdoor elements. Ladies, I like to think of this as putting a top coat on my nails. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. How stinking cute is he? The painting method is still very individualized and adds such nice color. I do not consider myself a painter but I am pretty darn proud of this little guy. He's sure to get a few smiles when he's sitting out on your front step. Well, that is it. I need to thank you once again for sitting down and taking the time to watch this video with me. 
As always, I'll be back next Saturday morning with another pumpkin-inspired project just for you. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my crafting coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. Also be sure to follow the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook where all of the Crafting Coach projects are made available for you. If you have any tips, ideas, or suggestions, or want to send me photos of any of your completed painted pumpkins, please do so at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. You want to win the pumpkin that I made on this show? Just click the link right on this page and enter your information. We'll see all of you in one week. Bye!